Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. So you're ready to install that new yard drain. Remember how much it flooded last year, how bad that was, and you're ready to fix that problem. Good for you. I think that's great. Do it yourself, save thousands of dollars, but I can help you save hundreds more. Let's take a look at two stores. Where are you gonna buy your materials? Let's compare two stores and find out which one is better. Which is the better store? The Home Depot or Lowe's? When you're putting together your parts list, the material list for your yard drain or French drain, you're going to be surprised how fast these parts add up. Let's take a look at these two stores and find out which is the better store. And if you would, please comment after you watch the video and tell us which store you like. Okay, let's start with catch basins. These are catch basins and the three most commonly used types. The first one to the left is a six inch speed basin. That's my personal favorite. <laughs> and the second one is a nine inch basin, it's square. And the third one is a 12 inch basin. And these are the most readily available basins on both stores. They are used in the yard and in the French drain and they pick up immediate surface water. So when it rains hard, water comes and just drops into these basins and the pipe carries it away. Okay, take a look at this six by six double outlet catch basin. Catch basins actually work better than French drain. As water comes across the ground, you can see it drops straight into the basin. There is no standing water. It drains into that low spot where the catch basin sits and the pipe carries it away. This is my favorite catch basin, the 6x6, and I'll leave you a link to a great video at the end of this one. This is a 12 by 12 inch catch basin, and you can see it works exactly the same. What's nice about catch basins is they have the grate on the top, and they stop all the debris from getting down into your line. They work extremely well. The round 6x6 basin has a choice of a green grate or a black grate. They are sold separately, so let's add this up. The grate, whether black or green, here at the Home Depot costs $7.47. The basin, double outlet, is $13.47. So let's put a total here. So the total price at Home Depot is $20.94. $21 for that double outlet basin with a grate. Now let's take a look at Lowe's. This is the exact same product. This is made by NDS, National Drainage Systems. The grate, whether black or green, is $6.58. The double outlet basin is $11.98. So let's put a total here. So that total at Lowe's was $18.56 for the exact same product. You know, that's $2 plus savings at Lowe's. So again, it may not seem like a whole lot of money, but how many catch basins are you going to put in? You know, on an average install, we install four. So things start to add up pretty quick. Okay, here's a nine inch basin, and you can see these prices. Home Depot is $52.97 and Lowe's is $45.98. Now we're talking about $6 difference. And the last catch basin is the big 12 by 12. You can see the Home Depot price of $65.97 and Lowe's of $61.98. Again, Lowe's has got a pretty good savings here. These larger square catch basins, you'll probably use three or four, and they usually go in patios or driveways. They can go in the yard, but much better is to run that little six by six catch basin and really save a whole lot of money. This is a four inch 90 degree elbow. And let's take a look. There's the Home Depot price and here's the Lowe's price. This 90 degree elbow is the most common part, coupling part, that you'll use with PVC. If you're using this at the bottom of the downspout, count how many downspouts you have on your home that you're hooking up. You may have five or six. So you're going to use at least five or six just to start your pipe. You may also have 
a couple of turns that need 90s. So an average job on a home that has five downspouts, you'll probably use at least 10 of these 90s. And yeah, it's only pennies difference between these two stores. But wait, there's still more French drain parts. This is a four inch T and it's very common. You're going to be hooking your pipes up uh, from another downspout or from a catch basin or from your French drain. So this little T, you can see the difference in price here. Look at that, that's almost a dollar difference. The material is exactly the same at both stores, but one is a dollar more than the other. So how many T's do you need? Well, that really depends on your project, but I would say that on the average, you're going to need at least five. So I'm just showing you the common uh, fittings, but there's more, let's take a look. This is French drain pipe, and we're at the Home Depot. This is four inch PVC perforated pipe. It has a rating and it has two holes drilled in the, the bottom of it. They're half inch holes. This type of pipe is a thin wall pipe. There's a difference between Schedule 40 and this pipe. Here at Lowe's, same thing. We've got four inch PVC perforated pipe. It has the same rating. It has two holes and they're half inch wide. So what is a French drain? A French drain is perforated pipe surrounded by gravel. It's actually laid in a bed of gravel and completely surrounded with stone. French drain is used to collect subsurface water, water that's underground. So as that water rises up in your yard, it enters through the gravel into the pipe and is carried away. French drain is also used along basement walls, down at the bottom at the footer, to help keep your basement dry. It's also used in crawl spaces, same thing. The system is designed to collect subsurface water. As the groundwater rises, it comes up through the gravel, enters the holes of the perforation in the pipe, and is carried away. Home Depot's price is $18.93. And Lowe's price is $18.93. They're exactly the same. The real big difference is where the holes are drilled. Lowe's has staggered holes drilled approximately 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. While at the Home Depot, these same holes are drilled at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. And that's dead center from the bottom. So for thin-walled PVC, it's the same at both stores. But wait, there's still much more to look at before making a decision on which store you should use. This is called a pop-up emitter, and it is used at the end of your pipe where the pipe discharges the outflow of water. As water comes down the line, it lifts up that little lid and the water disperses across the yard. So depending on how many outflows you have, you might need two three or four of these pop-up emitters. Okay, Home Depot, 1847 and Lowe's, 1628. We're talking a couple of dollars of savings here on buying these pop-up emitters. So both stores are carrying these products, but so far Lowe's seems to be the better place. But let's keep looking. Don't forget about your glue, PVC cement. This one is an all-in-one. In other words, it has a primer built in. And it is needed to weld. It actually bonds PVC together. I really like this fusion cement. It bonds so quickly. You simply spread it around your fitting, slide it together, and within seconds, that is welded tight. And it will not come apart. So again, this product is available at both stores. But take a look at the cost. Home Depot. 1427 and Lowe's 12.28. Again, a pretty good savings at Lowe's. So have you made a decision on which is the better store to shop? Let's take a look at just a couple more things and then you can really make a good decision. This is a sump basin. Some people call it a sump pit, sump liner, and we use this to hold the sump pump and it could be installed in a crawl space which is really common. 
Uh, we can also install that into a basement. But about 30 years ago, we implemented putting this into the backyard. And wow, does it work good. So it's a very important part of the rainwater drainage system. Sump basins can be used to collect downspout drains, yard drains, French drains, and then the pump can lift that up and send it out to the street. This sump basin is probably the best sump basin to use to hold your sump pump and collect water. It is so easy to set up. Simply drill through at any level that you need to put a pipe in or out and set it up. It comes with a lid, it's super strong, and it will last forever. There's actually two parts to the sump basin. You have the basin and you have the lid, and they're sold separately. So at Lowe's, you have a basin, it costs $28.98, and you have a lid that costs $12.98. So that's a total of $41.96, so $42. But what's really amazing is that at Home Depot, they don't carry the product. It is unavailable. Yeah, sure, they could order it, but it is not available in their store. So have you made a decision? Put your comment down in the comment box. Tell us which store you prefer. And I think, you've been, I think I've given you plenty of information and you should be able to make a really good choice just from watching this short video on which store is better. So I covered uh, quite a few items here you know, on this video and I've got another one, we'll call it part two, and it will show the corrugated and schedule 40 PVC. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. By six round catch basin. What is a catch basin? A catch basin is exactly what the name says. This catches debris. You see this little space down here underneath? This is where the discharge pipe comes out, but the debris sits down in the bottom. So you put the grate on the top. This goes in the low spot of the yard. When it rains hard, all that water pours into the basin. You just 